So with the 2.1 update patch for Cyberpunk 2077, CDPR included many new secrets for us players to discover. In this video guys, I bring you 20 plus of the best I have found in this game. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So not only have we seen the inclusion of new motorcycles, cars, weapons, there are also new events, easter eggs, references and much much more. Today we check out the ones I have found, now if I miss something, please do let us know down below. So let's start with the three new events. First up we have one which takes place within that Cyber Matrix factory premises. The exact location where this encounter takes place is Northside Watson, near the Kabuki Market at the Pinewood Junction. So fast travel to the Kabuki Market fast travel point and follow the path I take on screen now. Now when you get here guys, there will be a spot where a deceased dude with a sword sticking out of him can be found. Upon you scanning him, you will notice he has been wiped. They actually know the collection of who this dude is. Although he's wearing an Arasaka outfit. Upon further inspection, you can find somebody else who's also on death's door. Now if you try and speak to him, he just tells you to leave him alone and it results in you if you walk away from the area and come back, he will die. Upon him doing this guys, you can then loot his body which takes this conversation a little deeper. These two are actually best friends and they were tasked to take each other out. Pretty grim. Next up guys, we have the Trauma Team versus the Tiger Claws event. So this takes place from right here on the map. Now you want to come from this point to this newly built road and follow it around to your right as I do on screen now. Now you will find this event taking place. Now it isn't all the time, but for me, I mean just reloading my save or reloading my load even, uh, would actually make this event appear. So yeah, it could be down to time of day, I'm not sure. Now here you actually can take a side if you're careful or you can just take them both out as I did. But siding with the trauma team, keep this in mind, will equate to something else going on slightly later in the game with a message you should receive. Now the reason of this fight between these two groups is found via shards, showcasing the target claws are chasing a dude down with a trauma team are trying to help out. This dude has sensitive info. Yes, we gotta take that, she's out. Now there are a few shards here you can actually find and read which takes the story a little deeper. Uh, but I will leave you to learn this for yourself guys if you want to come to this event and experience it on your own. So if you find anything else cool though, do let us all know. Next up with the third event of 2.1, an old name some will remember, and that is Sandra Dorset. She is still causing hell for that night cop. So coming to this point within the Badlands, you come across this event taking place. Now as far as I'm aware, you have to take everybody else if you want to learn more about what's going down here, so do as I do. Now diving a little deeper into what can be found here ties to an alternate reality game which I know for an absolute fact 70% of Cyberpunk's player base right now won't have a clue about this. But upon doing a bit of research on the recent ARGs with Cyberpunk 2077 we will learn a lot. Now for now I won't bore the people who ain't interested in that but upon you looking around within this spot you'll find loads of information referring to this ARG real life photos, coordinates and much much more, as well as information on Sandra Dorsey, which who as we all know has definitely left her stamp within Night City. Okay so moving on, now most people won't be aware of this but as we all know now gang chases uh, with the last patch, not 2.1 I believe it was 2.2 zero were added into the game or was it 2.01 i can't remember but either or gang chases have been added into the game well this is something i have noticed upon when you're being chased by gangs if you stop to fight them upon you looting those shards from their bodies you can actually find hits on you and get information about them it's pretty cool guys uh, there's a couple of instances you're seeing on screen now uh, but i'm probably sure there's probably a little more to this too and if i find anything i'll be sure to let you guys know
Okay, so depending on who you romanced, CDPR have added in many new interactions with those romances, Panem, Judy, Kerry and River. These for the most part take place within your Night City apartments. I personally romanced Panem a dozen times, but I know folk out there prefer one of the others. Now I do believe that the apartments you can invite your romances to will have different interactions. I believe you can sit, snuggle, dance and sleep and possibly shower at each, uh, but there are different things you can do within different apartments. For instance, with Panem within that Glen apartment, you can have an interaction with her near that coffee machine where you will snuggle up with her. Then after you've had that sleep over, come into this spot within this apartment, you'll find a gift left from her to you. Now, this may be the case for other romances though, but this I cannot confirm. <laughs> now, upon a few romances with your chosen partner, you should receive a message in which you can send them a gift. So I think it's from the delivery of transport and logistics. You take part in a promotion and you can purchase a miniature car model and send it to your romance. Another pretty cool feature. One I will say I didn't notice anything else come from this, but I mean, something may come later on, I'm not sure. Okay, so moving on from those romances, and another thing I've found hidden around Night City are new cats. Now, these cats you can feed, you can chill with, and the other one can be found upon the metro. But please don't get excited. Uh, unfortunately, we cannot take them back to any of our apartments, which would have been cool. Now sticking with the metro, you can also encounter the sad Keanu Reeves mean easter egg portrayed by none other than himself, a pretty cool addition by CDPR. You're now at Ebunike. Okay, so there are 10 new weapons that have been added with the 2.1 update. Six of these weapons can all be obtained from the airdrops across Dogtown. Uh, these six weapons were previously Amazon Prime subscriber weapons, but they are now in the game for us all to obtain. Now, there are four other weapons you can get that are found just waiting for you around that Dogtown area. First up, guys, we have the BFC 9000. Yes, a name reference to Doom. So this weapon is a sex toy. I can't show a gameplay of it on YouTube. I'm in fear of YouTube slapping me, but it is a sex toy weapon tied to a new event, which can be found near that Badlands Dam. Now this is an event that I think may be uh, within a certain time of the day, as when I originally came here, the event wasn't here. I came back after doing a couple of non-story related things and the event was here. Now it consists of a crash car where do patrolling, if you take him out, loot his body, bam, you can swing into action with this new new weapon. So from this point on the screen guys, follow where I go, do as I do and get this thing, hopefully it's there for you.
Next up guys, we have a new XMOD2 iconic axe called the Claw. So this weapon is found at the top of the Heavy Hearts Club. It's quite easy to grab, uh, but following the path I take will make this super, super easy for you. So from this fast travel point, follow and do what I do and you'll be all good. Next up guys, we have the Achilles XMOD2 Iconic Tech Precision Rifle. So this is a weapon you can just come and grab it anytime you want, it's that simple. So follow the path I take from this fast travel point and go get this amazing weapon people. And lastly, from the four new weapons added into the game, which you can just go and grab, we have the MA-70HB XMOD2 Iconic Power Light Machine Gun. So this weapon is found within a crashed helicopter and requires either a 10 in that body stat or those gorilla arms to move a metal plate, which is blocking your way into that said helicopter. But once you are in, you can just simply grab this weapon and there you have it guys, pretty cool.
Okay, so moving on to new cyberware. And with 2.1, CDPR added in two new cyberware for you to buy at random reprodux across Dogtown and both Night City. These cyberwares are the Fiend X and the Kajito Lattice, seen on screen now. CDPR people also added in six new vehicles, all which can be purchased from the Auto Fixer website from your apartment. Now, there are five awesome new motorcycles and a brand new Porsche. Now, the Porsche, however, does have a small quest tied to it, which is pretty cool, which you get your car at the end of this quest. I won't ruin it for you, but it is a decent addition. It's short but sweet. But yes, guys, there we have it 20 plus new things added with the latest update of 2.1 guys if you did enjoy the video leaving a like really helps and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one